right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Renee channel. I'm your host, the average emergency survivor that your mom said that we have at home. Thanks for watching. Guys, today we are returning from some very quick errands. Uh, we just bought about 4,000 rounds of ammunition, 3,000 9 millimeter, um, and 1,000 rounds of 5.56, 55 grain FMJ. Um, and we're going to top off some more fuel. You're gonna have to bear with a little bit of uh, another ambulance going by right now. Um, you're gonna have to deal with some of the um, Mustang noise slash traffic noise because people are going crazy. Um, we are in the south. I'm not gonna disclose exactly where we are in the south, but in case you guys didn't know, there's a little thing called a hurricane that just happened and there's another one on the way and people are going crazy. We got two emergency vehicles in front of us and one that just went by us going the opposite direction. The highway is completely, uh, it's not crazy gridlocked. But it's, it's way too busy for a Sunday. Yeah, it's wild right now. Like we're filming this on a Sunday, but after the first hurricane, before the second. Um, and it's way busy out here. Um, I, we were planning on just doing some routine errands and I was like, let's just go pick up. Uh, we bought a sure, another Surefire rifle light for her gun. So, um, cause she's gonna be rocking the Daniel Defense and I got a Surefire light for that just to make sure, right? Um, you know, not that there's any gunfights going down, you know, in our area right now, but just to make sure, right? Just to have good quality stuff. But anyway, we're out getting some stuff and we just realized like, yo, you wanna tell about the flood? Without telling them where exactly it is. Yeah, so we're just in an area that um, almost a decade ago now experienced world record flooding in the area. And uh, I was just telling them, I was like, I'm not panicked yet because I feel like that's my baseline for, like, oh no, it's happening. Like it's actually like bad. Like it's actually bad because I saw, I lived through that and how bad that was. So until it reaches that point, which by the way, the recorded flooding we're supposed to get overnight now, the residual is like, 0.8 feet away from that record, so I'm starting to get So records now. are going to get set tonight, possibly. Possibly. We're getting close to it, so I'm, now I'm getting concerned. Right, so, and you've lived through this type of stuff before. Yeah. So but, you're kind of used to it. Yeah, I'm used to working in emergency services, being one of the crews, like, out and about in the disaster, so I'm a little desensitized to it, because when everybody else is hunkering down, I'm, I've been the one out there picking people up and, you know, providing rescue efforts and stuff so I'm, I know I'm a little bit desensitized to it um, but I just know what these crews and everybody is going through with it so it's it's no joke yeah so guys we're seeing uh, what kind of uh, impromptu video here what we're starting to see is people driving by with generators on their trucks so I'm not sure we're, uh, let's see what direction they're going north they're going north um, so I'm not sure if they're going to help with where it's worse from us or if they're trying yeah. to get away from what's about to happen down here so i don't know it feels like we might be frogs in a boiling pot of water that don't know the pot of water is boiling yet and we're just chilling right <laughs> um so yeah we're we i shoot a lot on the channel make sure this thing stays kind of centered i shoot a lot on the channel and i've been shooting a ton of freaking 556 five, i'm not going to disclose exactly how much we have and don't have but we have enough but i was just thinking like yo let's just restock everything uh, get get some more ammo backed up that way you know it's the least of our concerns and we're about to go fill up both vehicles sure. right now um we're actually talking about if we lose power like the immediate our immediate plan if things get worse is to literally boil water and eat rice yeah. and drink the protein drinks that we have that will go bad eventually so we're gonna drink pro uh you know 300 what is it 300 gram or 300 calorie yeah, 300 uh, 40 gram, gram. Protein, protein drinks and rice. We have rice. We have some like dehydrated meals. Oh yeah, we got Mountain House and so, stuff. So, you know, for boiling water at that point, we have that as well. Um, we've got cases and cases of water. Right, we're probably but, gonna get more today, I think, just in case. Yeah, it just goes to show the like the running joke during COVID was like everybody was running up toilet paper, stuff like that. But toilet the, paper, These we are got the things you need to think about of what your, hello, what your, um, realistically gonna need um, like a friend was telling me that what was it, the Friday night went out to go grab some dinner because they didn't have power at their house so they went to go through fast food and they don't have anything on hand the lines were wrapped around the building like two or three times of people just trying to go get fast food to eat right because they were just so helpless without power a lot of people are eating you know meal to meal with nothing in their house they might have I'm not gonna say any names. I have a coworker that was like, yeah, I had to get some. So we didn't have any power and uh, where, where he lives. 
and we didn't have any power and all the gas stations and fast food were closed so he said he ate like some pasta roni and like uh, I don't even know he, he, he described the most ridiculous meal as the only food he had in his house so um, I guess the, the message of the video is hey there's a lot of stuff going on right now like I don't know if the news is covering it or not um, there's a lot of people without power like yeah like, Asheville North Carolina is only accessible by helicopter Right, there's places like, in, in, in like grid down, like uh, you want to talk about 911 right now? Emergency calls? Yeah, so 911, it's it's centered down now, but um, people I knew crews working um, were grounded yeah, during more the hurricane. Emergency stuff up here. Um, because wind gusts, when they get up above, usually it's like 40 miles per hour sustained wind gusts, that'll blow over fire trucks and ambulances. Well, they're not seeing is you see those people dragging. Yeah, dragging. Yeah, there's, what, so what we're seeing along is a ton of just branches, trees down. I mean, we have, Emergency know, vehicle that we're about to pass. We an ele uh, electric. Or electrical yeah. truck. You guys might see it in the corner Working in a second. Working on power, restoration. Um, there are areas of the, the couple of states, you know, what we got. They might be able to see it as we drive by. The chaos. There it is right there. <laughs> And we got another emergency vehicle coming up that you're going to see if you see Working it out. Working on power restoration. Yeah. So, I mean, areas of Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee are going to be without power for days, if not a week, if not over a week. So, right, and this road that we're on right now, I had to drive to work because we just picked up a class. So, we're in a situation where we have insane, to work. insane, but you had to drive a class. Yeah, we had to, we had to go to work because we just picked up a course. So, the kids, we'll call them the kids, the candidates, we have to go make sure they're fed taken care of obviously and facilitate all that so we I drove this exact road right now that we're driving in the hurricane at like 6 in the morning and it was just insane the whole road was a freaking the whole road looked like it was part of the uh, trail in the woods it's raining sideways no it was right it was raining <laughs> sideways um, and the whole road we're on right now looked like uh, looked like a Post freaking trail yeah. Well, yeah like a trail like you're walking down a side trail um, okay so advice because we're living through, some of us right now, uh, potentially us here in about eight hours, uh, part two, right, hurricane part two. So advice, water, goes without saying, okay? Water, have a ton on hand that you don't need to worry. Like imagine like your house right now has no water, you have no water, like if you turn the faucet on, it's contaminated water, so you'd have to boil it, right? So so what? how much cased water or bottled water do you have in your house right now, okay? That's answer number one. Uh, something you can address right now if you're not immediately affected, okay? Um, number two, food, obviously, food, okay? Um, rice, we use, we, we have rice. rice. So, canned goods. Yep, canned goods. Now you're okay eating cold. Right, um, what else, freaking uh, Mountain House or MREs, okay? Those are good options. There's, you know, something that you can get on hand right now. Um, if you have the option to do so okay so food uh, you need to address food right now because you don't want to be going out to get stuff okay after that generator uh, something uh, especially if you have some, some sort of uh, medical issue that requires yeah that's that is a huge call that's pretty much took a majority of emergency services calls are those that are on like at-home oxygen right um, at-home medicine pumps ventilators things like that that they need they rely on electricity to receive that care so so get a generator well it's too late now but if, well, if you're in an area that's unaffected go get a generator um let's say let's see batteries phones a lot of you guys are not going to have service okay if uh the, if, if something like this hits you you're just not going to have phone service okay so you're not going to have an ability to communicate so if you got stuff like ghost net and stuff like that um you know there's you can get balfang to, to be able to communicate with your neighbors and an, an emergency people that you trust um okay so a what way to communicate um some sort of entertainment there can be a lot of sitting around some chess or books stuff like that um what else i think a weather radio weather radio is Especially huge if you're cut off you need to know what's what's coming um if you're in an area with tornadoes you know audibly just listen out for alarms be be aware of that check on your neighbors dude there's tons of down trees that kill people here yeah check on your neighbors if not just to be the better person but also they may have what you need and you might have some of what they need and you can some just realistic small scale trades to support each other right hopefully you guys already know your neighbors yeah. um and, and on that note to kind of get into the last part looting okay looting is could be a thing 
right? Looting and uh, not rioting, but looting and just crime in general. People trying to get at get people's things, right? Stealing people's stuff during an emergency situation, taking advantage of this. Um, you know, um, you know, there, you know, maybe could even be things like sexual assault that could be a problem. You know, uh, people that are displaced. So your elderly, yeah, elderly that could be trapped. To be advantage of, yeah. So. so guys, if you're seeing this, um, take it from us in the south right now uh if you're not prepared get prepared if you think you're prepared you know maybe turn off the lights in your house and think of all the things that are require uh, electricity and you don't have that what can you do to supplement right um you know now if you're already in an area that's affected by this i'm not saying go out and try to buy a you know thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars worth of stuff because a lot of people are going to be poaching or what's it called price hiking right now yeah. so if you're trying to get bought a case of water or you're trying to get a generator or even fuel there's places here that don't even gas stations we're actually going to go top off the mustang that's at full but we're going to get three or four gallons in this thing to make sure um in a minute once we get nighthawk's car but you know if you're if you're in a situation that's already affected, don't run out and try to get it all at once because you could be taken advantage of, or there could be people that are desperate that could do things that are desperate, okay? So uh, make sure you have the means that you need to defend yourself. I'm not advocating for you to go out and hurt anybody, but I'm saying make sure you are being smart with your surroundings, um, not rushing out to go get fast food during a freaking hurricane, right? During a natural disaster, okay? Um, be smart about what you share on social media as well about your your level of what you have like i was always taught never post that i'm gonna be away on vacation right like you once you get back sure post those pictures and all that stuff but if people know your house is vacant or people know that you're the spot that has everything the ammo the batteries yeah, you know like the fuel again, fuel cans are a big deal right now um food freaking food dude yeah. so all right, guys. I hope I uh, hope everyone's doing good. Let me know in the comments if you're affected and some advice for anybody um, that may be going through something like this. You know, if you're also living through this natural disaster, post below. If you want to support the channel, I'll post all the links below so you can do so. Um, Nighthawk and I are going to top off on some fuel last second just to make sure we're both good for the uh, part two hurricane slash flooding that's going to take place here in a minute. Um, but yeah, any closing thoughts? No, just uh, yeah, be smart prep realistically no one's saying you need to go out like you said and spend tens of thousands of dollars for stuff you can affordably on a budget make sure that you and your family are protected and cared for and uh if you are one of the ones that are impacted and more of the like, kind of the northwestern carolina we're thinking about y'all um so stay safe help your neighbor was it julie who invested? love one another oh god <laughs> all right guys <laughs> Until next time, it's going to be Trench Grenade and Nighthawk, your average emergency preparedness individuals, signing out. Cheers. Cheers.